What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a tool review from awesome company Promax. Let me give a shout out to them. It's a rod Promax. Um see what they sent me. So we just opened it up and we have check it out. Look at that. For our four six, five, four, and six eights. Um, if we have the dipstick to break off in the block. Um, let's try this other tool out here. This other one is, looks like we got a little note in here. Okay, got all the cellophane out. actually get the box out of the box all right so this my friends is a puller for your six seven fuel injectors if they're stuck in the cylinder head the power pull pro kit um, I'm going to demonstrate this tool uh, in another video. Um, I will be doing an engine and um, am going to use that as I'm going to use this to show you how to take out that. You guys got to go over to their website and check out Promax. They have a lot of very high quality tools that um, help you get the job done way more efficiently than if you were to drill stuff freehand when they break. They got a whole line of GM stuff, Ford stuff, Dodge stuff. Um, they got stuff for big rigs. Um, you guys have seen me use that. Check out my uh, video on YouTube for EGR bolts breaking. Um, I also have this one as well, I have not used it yet. Um, I just got that, just showed you guys. Um, what else do I have? I don't have that. Uh, I heard that they started doing that, uh, making the tool and uh, we're getting good good uh, feedback from uh, techs in the field. Um, they got some bits, oil that they recommend using when uh, drilling the stuff out. Here's their info, call and ask for Jeff. Tell him I sent you, the hook you up with uh, anything that you need. So without further ado, let's get into what you guys stopped by for. Come on. The oil tube extractor. I'm excited to use it. All right, so not a whole lot in here. Got some uh, pamphlets, family of tools. Let's look at that little chart. Pretty sweet right there. Um, let me get a little paper out. Oop, I'm sorry, I was getting out of shot there. All right, that's all we got. Right here, we're going to stick this into the damaged, broken oil dipstick tube hole. This is what it looks like. We can uh, also put a slide hammer on it, but you can imagine if it was in the vehicle, you don't really have any room to put a slide hammer. So um, we're gonna go ahead and screw that in and we're going to remove this broken oil dipstick tube. All right, so uh, got the 5 8 shallow, and I'm just gonna screw. Well, I'll start by hand first because it was kind of easy to turn and get it centered in there. Okay. Use a 3 8 socket here, 3 8 ratchet, 5 8 socket. I'm pushing as I'm turning it. Oops. 
Now I think the dipstick tube actually just pulled or pulled, pushed itself through, um, but I've, I've gotten a bite on it. So we're gonna go and do the pry bar thing. I wonder if I can get my little trim tool in here to get both sides. Let's see here. It's gonna be a little different because you guys are gonna be having this in the vehicle. Um, I wanted to, you know, simply use this engine to show you guys what you're gonna do. And you saw that just popped right out and it actually hit me in the head. All right, so check it out. That was not too bad. Um, I have had to pull the oil pans in these things, and on top of it being in a shuttle bus, propane, triple AC, just to do this. Oh, gosh. Let's see if we can take this right on out. I would definitely recommend anybody having a broken dipstick tube to purchase the Promax Power Pull Oil Tube Extractor for your Ford modular engine. Again, this will work on the 4654 and 68. All right, you guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below. If anybody's ever had to uh, do what I said, replace a broken dipstick tube with uh, removing the oil pan, or um, if they found a better method. But now you have the 100% for sure way method. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Friday. Thanks for watching. Thank you.